back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. In this one, I'm going to talk about all, well, I wouldn't say all, but a good amount of cards that have spiked in price, since this is the everybody's favorite topic, the, um, the, the very sporadic economy of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game, right? And just before I start, I do want to say uh, my scheduling as far as videos is going to be thrown off a little bit since a lot of stuff came up since I came back from Orlando, but if you are willing to see that with all the set nine deck profiles all next week it's all gonna be set nine pro profiles next week definitely subscribe if you are new join the discord since i'm gonna start the set nine uh box tournament and even become a sponsor because i do have a lot of stuff in mind for that it's only a dollar a month if you really want to support me definitely join at the bottom right the join button but today i'm gonna go through again a number of cards, which uh, <laughs> for the first one, it's gonna be pretty obvious. Some of those draft box cards have still risen in price and as well as stayed there. The first one is gonna be the Great Up Goku in which, of course, you warp it for two, pay two, you draw two, right? The biggest thing about this is that it's so generic. Like it's really hard not to include this in a lot of different decks that if you're just sitting on two energy and you're not really counterplay heavy or you don't really have a response to a lot of stuff or you're gonna have a lot of energy later in the game or mid game, um, it's just good to draw two because if you're only swinging once with a leader, you're only seeing one card and for paying two, especially if you're playing blue with Sensu Bean, um, paying two is not that big of a deal right now within the current format. Now the biggest thing about this is that uh, all the surge leaders don't draw on the backside. Uh, so saying, saying in sinks at three or four is gonna be kind of a mainstay. Um, and if you don't have it, you can't really draw or you have to find another way in order to draw on that backside. Otherwise, you're kind of bummed. This is around that $34 state and uh, almost at 50, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay around this. I don't think it's, I, I really don't imagine Surge Leader is gonna go away in set nine, even set 10, but that's just me. Uh, some of the stuff like the Dropbox stuff we're gonna go through right now uh, might be reprinted in the future. I, I you know, we, if you guys didn't know, in Europe, I do believe they have special packs for the draft, draft box where it's individual packs, but it has weird like packaging for it. Like, let me go see if I can find it. Actually, I'm wrong on that. I was thinking about actually the uh, the Clash of Fates premium pack type deal, uh, which I don't speak French. So something about four promo rares and a bunch of packs, I would say which includes the, I think the Broly and the Gogeta and Veku, uh, as it shows here. Hopefully they'll do something similar with the upcoming premium pack that we'll have uh, in June with the draft box stuff. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so th this is the Uneasy Alliance Goku, Sun Goku. So this one uh, is around the $12, $12 mark and now it's coming up into the 16 to 20. I think the best thing I can really say about this is that it's always been a good card. Two energy is kind of a lot, but it's still a, a counter that is sort of uh, in line with all the other two drop counter cards. Um, the fact that you can return anything three or less on their side or your side is pretty awesome. Um, but it is a universe seven and all the invoker stuff, all the universe seven stuff, uh, I would I would peck it on that. Then we have Hercule Boo, friends forever. I talked about this a little bit a while ago saying, you know, this, these are gonna go up anyway. Uh, I said it a long time ago uh, with red blue stuff. Uh, pre, I think set seven or so. I think when the draft boxes uh, immediately hit around around that that time, basically because we didn't have any uh, non-energy exhausted cards or check lands uh, for red and blue, we were actually getting more support in set nine. And I was saying like we're gonna get it there, and it's gonna it's gonna uh, boost it up quite a lot. And this is in is really good with the new cooler stuff simply because you get to play um uh draw a card minus 10 you get to mill a card on their turn and as well as uh draw a card and then you get to choose one of red blue battle cards other than majin buu which at the time topo was going to be the best uh option for that with a couple other cards that you can return uh on their on their um uh end of turn or on your end of turn but now cooler is probably going to be the best thing for that with on uh, aggression you can swing the, with the coolers and then play with uh this card as well on that same turn and then return the coolers and do it all over again with the new red blue super combo. So this has a lot of good utility. I think this is, uh, if cooler is successful, which I'm not gonna say it is for sure, I think it is a very strong deck. Um, it's probably gonna stay around this this level here. Defending pa Father Paragus. So these actually dropped a good amount, like around under 10 for the non-foils. And now with these per Piccolo Surge and as well as the Broly Surge, both of them using uh, this card or at least 
probably going to be using this card. I think this is uh, one of the better cards to have uh, simply because of the lower print of the starter Broly deck in the first place. Like if you didn't have these in the first place or previously to the success of those decks, um, you're probably going to eat these costs <laughs> eventually because these, uh, this and as well as you know, the parallel fo foils are like 15s. Uh, um, you can, you can kind of tell from the $50 price tag of the starter Broly deck and now all bought out on uh, TCG player that it is kind of important to have those. Um, it's a couple of things, like like I said, the, the decks that I mentioned, and as well as um, just having a, just being a really good card, drawing two and then uh, warping one, and then a low print. It all is a trifecta of uh, annoyance for pricing. Then again, we have almost $100 for Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta. Uh, this is just a strong card in Surge Coup. It's a strong card for really in any red deck leader. Cooler is going to be a, a huge thing because it is 20k for each of those cards and so they mill one for each of them, those cards. They get a 5k boost on their turn. They get the draw on Cooler. So I mean I think that's where the hype is right now and it's just generically a good card if you're playing red. It only costs one red. Um, it doesn't really get around the, uh, like I said, the one drop uh, extra cards and as well as a lot of other uh, counterplay negates or the the uh, like 3 less counterplay. So I think this is a really good card to have. I wouldn't buy it at this price. I would probably wait on it. If you're going to be playing something that requires this, I would recommend to play something else if you think that this is an uh, incredibly important card to that deck. Just play black. Uh, so we're going into the non-draft box cards. So this one is uh, again, I'm going to reference Cooler, and as well as probably any ready, re uh, any red deck. So this one is a uh, activate battle in which you can um, minus 5k any of their battle cards, uh, send into the warp and paying for one. Uh, this is like a, a baby version of, not literally baby, but like a smaller version of the new one-drop Frieza, where the one-drop Frieza has a no once per turn and this one you can only do once if you have if you have it in your drop area plus if you do decrease something on their field you can get to go ahead and uh, play it for free and have a 15k body so these are actually 20 dollars uh it's not the actual card or the foil it is the stamp version a lot of the stamp versions like if you if you really look at the stamp versions which if you guys want to make me if you want me to do another video on like finding cheap stamp cards that will probably increase in value in the in the next sets or even a video where why did this card drop so much which is probably gonna be another video like why why did uh x deck drop from the format and maybe the the cards that went with it i can do that but again i think this is more cooler hype um it's not a bad card honestly let me have the turtles uh turles this this guy has like a eight dollar uh tcg low and then twenty dollar for the um, the high, they, they basically just got bought out. Uh, I was mentioning this before when Boo got uh, uh, revealed. Uh, there's only one listing for four for the parallel foils. Uh, I, I would recommend just to play it at your locals. You can get these pretty easily if you are uh, pr pretty successful. You know, get first or second place or something like that, open some packs. You, you don't really have to pay these cards or this, this price for these cards. Um, but if you aren't willing or aren't able to go to turnings i can imagine you you paying th this much and i think it'll stay around this price probably no lo no lower than five bucks it is generically a good card because you can play it in any deck uh from toa from kid Ku, from anything that has two black battle cards in your drop area uh with those costs and of course with manjin boo you can probably go ahead and use these uh it's just that the uh it's a little disadvant disadvantageous because you have to return the three uh, three to seven to the bottom of the deck when you need it on the field and you have to have it in the drop and you need it on the field so if you have an abundance of them later in the game Turles is not a, a bad idea um, not only that it's really good in the Demigrad it's really good in a number of other uh, black decks which Demigrad has that new super combo I would imagine it's probably based on that hype as well then we have Slumber Strike I don't know why this is higher it's a draft box card it's a rare it's ten dollars now it was like three bucks before I forgot to pick some up so that was on me, but <laughs> I would imagine it might be the new cooler support, or not cooler support, Android 13 support, where you can get an Android 13 turn three again, and then you can pop your own and then play the secret. Um, I would imagine it's the Zamasu support, or well, Zamasu hype, I would say, which we're gonna, go, we're gonna take a look at in, in a second, winning the deck winning, the winning deck for Orlando PPG. And 
uh, I, I would say like if you pop the uh, the Zamasu, you can go ahead and use the uh, the Broly Seeker as well for that. Uh, I don't think the Broly Seeker is, is... Let's go take a look. I don't know. I don't think the Broly Seeker is that much. No, I was wrong. There it is. Okay, so this this is now 245. It was around that 200 mark. Uh, if you don't know market price, this is the average of recent sales that uh, within the last like couple weeks, I think, or about a week ago, there's a whole whole thing there. Um, but pretty pricey now. It's getting up there. And people are uh, figuring out the Zomasu package and as well as uh, the number of other things that are coming out in set nine, like that cooler or that th 13 stuff. Speaking of Krillin and 18, the power couple, this is really good for successor. Again, the um, the PPT uh, winning deck by Jonathan Rodriguez uh, played this and as well as I knew Duvall, so I was hyping it up in uh, the stream when I was when I was streaming that. And uh, getting around that $20 mark, I think this is still a really good card. I, I talked about it just like I talked about it, the the, the uh, Hercule Bull deck in which we didn't have green, yellow check lands, but when we did, it's gonna go up in price. And now people are, are getting use of it in uh, the current set. And now we go into set nine uh, with all the successor stuff and as well the green, yellow support, it's only gonna get better. Khalifa, the expansion, this is for $15. Uh, this is the non-foil. Um, I don't know why this is $15. Uh, let me, someone let me know. <laughs> Just like I talked about before, uh, the PPT winning deck, the Samasu or the Su Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. These are 19 bucks. They were around that $10 mark. Not even that. I, I bought these like for five bucks or so um, a few weeks ago. And it was always a good card. It just had too many answers for it. And it kept getting popped and things like that. But because it has success within the last big tournament, uh, this is kind of the reason why and people are kind of uh, hopping on that, that engine. Um, and I wouldn't play, you know, catch up as far as that goes. I have a bad habit of doing that too, but I would definitely look into other options because now people are aware of this. Um, we still have baby running around. We still have cooler coming in. We have all the three drop counter, uh, the, the three drop extra cars that um, ignore barrier and things like that. And, you know, obviously the, the Zamasu has indestructible, but the green yellow topo uh, negates the skills and returns to the hand. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things coming in set nine that could uh, interrupt these things. And now that people are kind of aware of this and um, they might need to play a little bit of spot removal here and there as well. Then we have uh, Fused Zamasu. I don't know why these are $37, but they are, they were 13 bucks. I think this is the wrong Zamasu to use, but it is still a great card, a 20K double, or 20K indestructible that uh, makes them pitch a card every turn. It's probably more of the hand destruction stuff. I think since Tao got banned, uh, this is more of a usable card at each turn. Um, that's the only thing I can think about. Oh, it's pretty good for successor too. Keep on support, Kukot. I think these, these in the um, event pack are just on the Jiren hype, uh, 90 cents before and now at like three to five dollars. So that's really about it. Is that all you got? Uh, foils, I didn't, I, I'm, I'm more of like pointing out that these are kind of going up since these are like six bucks, five bucks before. Uh, because of cooler and now they're in that ten dollar range basically ten eleven to fifteen dollar range So that's the only thing I can think of. Buster Beam Canyon. These are like two bucks two fifty and now they're around that four dollar mark getting close to being bought out um, It's possible that Surge Piccolo is getting this hand destruction again because Tal getting banned in this next uh, format uh, all these cars are, are getting uh, you know for are focusing on hand destruction are getting that a little bit of hype a little of that a little bit of that boost this is no different one of the strongest leaders in the format right now piccolo search piccolo has this card access or has access to this card and it's not a bad card you know having this with 10k power choosing one card from their hand on your turn or their turn on defense or offense and plus the new isr cards in which um the green isr makes them pitch a card if all of your energy is green i do believe so i would say this is a pretty good pickup Shout out to Sandy. Then we have the Dimension Magic Foils. I don't know why this is $25. So I, I'm guessing it's because of the ban of Tien. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting one. The Sun Goku close, in close quarters. This is around that $1 mark. Like I remember this, these being hella cheap. And now they're $5 up to that $18 for someone being very, very ambitious, but very possible that it would, <laughs> it might be, it might be that. These are the foils. If you have the anniversary set, um, these are pretty much sense so i wouldn't 
like pay for foils but if you were trying to resell foils this is a pretty good way to start the reason for this is because it's, it's the invoker stuff it's uh, specifically the three drop piccolo or the vegeta because it says a multicolor card in your energy doesn't have to spe be specified as green or anything else you just pay two energy and then you pop um the invoker or whatever and you can either play it or you can combo it on their turn or your turn and then you get to pop it Shout out to Joel saying this is a bad uh, Hero Combination Zore. These were like two bucks. Now they're like 10. Um, Jiren Height. Same thing for Tupper. Combination Attack. Uh, all of the Invoker stuff. Uh, I would say that's pretty much the biggest thing since you can play for this one cost. For this as a one cost and then uh, untap it for free basically. And then the other thing is that, um, you know, I, I, I guess you can probably side this for cooler. That's, that's the only thing I can think of. But all the red, blue uh support is basically the reason why combination tag foils have going, been going up i don't think um the non-foils whoops can you work please the non-foils are that much a couple bucks which is uh, pretty average for a good expansion uh, common all right going to the last ones uh metacooler the uh return or ultimate form is about five bucks for the foils that were about a, a dollar this is actually a pretty good card because you can pay two yellow and then for the racing in turn, uh, the medical leader card, which is the, the new one, can do this as well, I do believe. You can awaken a five for more life. And then um, you get to choose one card from your hand. If you do so, you get to play two of the the, uh, the infinite coolers from the drop. So for two energy, those are pretty good effects. And you get to draw a card when you play it. So not too bad, right? And the biggest disarm. Andrew Troop, 14 and 15. These were like cents on the dollar. Now they're like, like six, seven dollars. I actually think Andrew 13 is going to be pretty damn good. I have a deck profile coming up for that one as well. I don't think it's going to be like tier one, but I think it's going to be like the support that's actually it's gotten. Um, this card is going to be super important in the Andrew 13 leader. Uh, I don't know about any other leader, obviously, because you have to have an Andrew 13 leader to draw one, but it is. Um, it is uh, still a pretty good card. Unfortunate that the new ruling says you have to have two of these guys in the drop to count as uh, two targets. And now finally, the uh, Weiss Destruction's Aid, because of the new Beerus, because it is a blue Beerus, it is a new revamped blue Beerus, these guys are almost 15 bucks on average from the $1 foils in the expansion um, pack, the anniversary pack, I do believe. So I think Bandai, when they did make this, they were thinking about rebooting Beerus in the first place. So it makes sense. And because you get to play two blue, which is quite a lot, if you ask me, um, you get to play system rest mode and uh, try to get to that 16 card win con or get to even more uh, energy to, to work with. And the last one, Chilling Terror, Andrew 17. This is the foil version. Uh, it was like three or four bucks. Now it's 12 on the TCT low, $15 over here. I do believe the Chilling Terror, if we look over here, uh, it's probably not gonna do it. Oh no, here we go. Non-foil version are still like two to three dollars. So if you wanna pick it up, you can. There's two main reasons for this is because uh, in the Andrew 18, 18, 17, 18 liter is a two drop in which you can play it. And then now the uh, surge leaders basically can't uh, awaken uh, and draw those cards, basically. And now the Andrew or the Jero leader, I think the 1718 Jero leader, basically you can play this from drop um, after you awaken for one energy, and then you get to pass. And then now the surge leader has to kill that in order to awaken and draw those two, three, four cards that they uh, have to awaken and draw with. That's pretty much all I have. Uh, took some time to, to really go through all that and I'm always curious to see why things are bought out, why things are fluctuating the way they are. I hope you're, you were curious as well and, some, and hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight. Let me know if I missed anything, put it in the comments below. Hopefully people can um, uh, escape the buyouts basically <laughs> before it happens. If you want me to do more of these or at least ones that explain why things dip or increase, let me know in the comments below as well. There's going to be a couple more discussion videos, a couple more articles within the next uh, few days. And then next week, it's going to be all deck profiles, baby, even from me or the rest of the team. So definitely watch out for that. Subscribe if you're new, become a sponsor, join the discord, check out the website, buy my merch. Okay, I'll bye. Hey.